I didn't know when I was young, you know, it felt like I was in a coma, but I was awake. So we thought I had all these, you know, glandular fever. And then when finally I was diagnosed, it was one of the happiest moments of my life. I remember where I was because now I thought, oh good, now they can treat it. And it wasn't all over my body, it was my brain. I've kept it secret since I was a child, but then uh, I, I saw a poster, like I said, and it said I had mental illness. I didn't realize it was going public. I just thought it was a little comic relief matchbook picture. And so uh, once I saw that, I thought, I better write a show about it and say, yeah, I was coming out on purpose. But to this day, I wouldn't have told. I don't want to be unemployed. The first time people knew about it was when they watched my show. So um, they, some of them were kind of alarmed because they remembered they were the ones that said, perk up. But because we don't talk about it, we all hunker, you know, in our homes, keeping our mouths shut. We don't know what to say. There is no greeting card that says, sorry to hear you're a schizophrenic. I go, I've gone to Oxford, which is a miracle, because the only I, I've done therapy and I, I'm on so much medication, I, I make noise when I move. There's a crunchy sound. So I've studied mindfulness, which, which does work for me, A, because I don't have to pay a shrink, but B, I can hear the early pitter-patter of the thoughts starting to get weird, and I never used to, li I, I didn't know what to listen for, so I'd hit, be hit all at once. So it's like figuring out the early stages of cancer. So it doesn't mean I won't get depression, it just means, uh-oh, cancel everything and go somewhere where the cortisol levels can go down. So, like somebody who has a bad back, I have to sit in silence. I'm not thinking about Buddha, I'm just anchoring, again, getting my heart down. Mm -hmm. So that's what I do. Are you done now? Done. Okay. Thank that. you, and happy lunch. Okay.